Tag and welcome to another exciting episode of my Filipino venture. I'm Mike, your American tour guide, and Ina is, listen, she's in the kitchen doing dishes. I just had a little dinner. Okay, so this is our like, multiple attempts to uh, to do, we're gonna, today we're going to do the visa, the K-1 visa process. Uh, the only thing we're going to cover in this video is going to be the uh, I-129F form. This is what gets the ball rolling. So if you want to a K-1 visa, we don't know anything about the K-2, and we don't know anything about the K-3. The only thing that we did was the K-1 visa. This is our experience. Um, it, might, it may differ for every person, but this is what we went through to get our uh, K-1 visa approved. And I said, this video is just gonna be the I-129F, which is the application to apply for a K-1 visa. So you're not even, this, this part here, the, the first stage is just to apply for the right to apply for a K-1. You have to get cleared before you can apply for the K-1 visa. So, <clears throat> now we went through a company called Rapid Visa and they handled a lot of this for us. A, a lot of the paperwork, we had to fill everything out. So we still had to do a lot of, of work. Um, looking back at it, I still probably would have used them because I didn't know anything um, but if you watch this video maybe you feel confident that you don't even need a service you can do this yourself if I had to do it again knowing what I know now I wouldn't have used the service I would just do it myself so uh, first off you can just go to the US um, CIS website www.uscis.gov and then you can even put a slash I-129F. And uh, <clears throat> what this is, is the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services official website. There, there is a link on there for a PDF to download the form of the I-129F, and it is 13 pages. Um, I'm not sure if you can fill it out online and have it printed, maybe through Adobe. But it kind of looks like this. It's 13 pages and there's, you know, it's quite a few questions. Uh, the, most, the first part is just going over the petitioner and the petitionee is the major part of it. So for, for the guy, it's just, uh, you know, your address, your parents' name, where do you work, where do you live, what's your education, pretty simple stuff, basic stuff. And it gets into uh, your fiance, um, like for Ina, it gets into, a little bit more involved they want to know where she's lived the last five years where she's worked the last five years if she's been out of the country at all for the last five years for more than six months um so this one took us a little bit of time because uh we were doing this online and i would send her the questions through messenger on facebook and then she'd have to i'd wait for her to return and if she didn't know the exact dates or the exact addresses we had to she had to go find them because you know you have to be very thorough on this because they're going to be doing background checks on you so you don't want to give them any red flags you definitely want to fill out these 13 pages correctly and once you do that now there's a checklist of stuff they want you to send in um <clears throat> now rapid visa did this really nice for us i'm not sure this is uh um, required but this is a cover letter which I recommend you do and this will have like in this case it has my name Michael Clark uh, where my address is it's going to the United States Department of Homeland Security US Citizenship and Immigration Service it's got the PO box and everything there which you can get that offline it's so that the date that I'm submitting um, the nature of the submission is so I 129F original submission dear sir madam enclosed please find my I 129F petition for K1 visa for Raina Moore Albiso Mondragon and the following supporting documents in order. And put them in order in the packet so they know where everything's at. Okay, so you've got your payment. So you're going to have to make a payment. Um, I'm not sure if it's a check. Uh, we paid Rapid Visa and the re Rapid Visa paid them. So I'm not exactly sure how they accept the payment. They might take it online at the credit card, or maybe you can send a check, maybe you can send a money order. This you'll have to find out for yourself. Uh, it's $535 for the initial payment to start the process. 
<clears throat> now, this is going to be different for everybody. In my case, I was divorced, so they wanted me to send in... Do I have a copy of that with me here? So, you always have to get your deport, divorce decree. Um, that's going has to go into your packet. Uh, mine happened to be like 10 pages, because I didn't know what page they wanted. I just sent it all just to be safe. Um... The supplement, page 8, part 2, question 54, explaining meeting. Okay. This will be, um, when you go onto the website to start doing your I-29 up, there's also a page of instructions. So if you have a question about this number, section A, question 6, you can go on there and it'll kind of help you out. But this is the um, supplement, page 8, part 2, question 54. It's not enough space to do it in the form, so they want you to print out a, its own page. And this was how you met. In this case, I was planning to vacation in the Philippines and swim with the whale sharks in April of 2017. Before I left, I met Raina Moore online at AsianDating.com. And it goes on to tell my story of how we met and then how many, you know, the subsequent trips I came back to see her. Uh, explained a little bit about meeting her family. And, the, you know, it's just a couple paragraphs about, tell about how you met. Okay, so that goes into your form. <clears throat> Okay, they want one of each, a two by two passport photo for, of you and a two by two passport photo of her. So she's gonna have to mail some stuff to you from the Philippines to America, and then you put this packet together, then you can send it off. So there is, you know, plan for that waiting time because it takes a couple weeks to get a letter. Okay, sponsors proof of US citizenship. So what they did is here, real quick, I'll show you. I don't want to get anybody copying anything from me. This is a color um, photocopy of my passport. And I also have uh, my the, the page of the stamps from the trips I've done to the Philippines. And it has the dates on there, so they can correspond those. Um, a copy of my birth certificate. Uh, photocopy. They want the back too, front and back of the birth certificate. There's nothing on the back of my birth certificate, but I made a copy of it. Hey, look who's here. Hi. Okay, a copy of my birth certificate. Uh, so that's the proof of your U.S. citizenship. I did the, the birth certificate and the passport. Okay, uh, that's sponsor's proof. We sent in your stuff too, but they didn't, I guess here it doesn't even ask for it. Let me look at this right here. Okay. Um, a letter uh, of intent to Mary. Those are in, where those, we had those. Basically, it's just, a, it's another letter, very similar to this, where you put your name, um, who it's to, which is the Homeland Security, the date, and basically, all it does is say, I, Michael Bruce Clark, intend to marry Raina Moore Albiso Mondragon within the 90 days of receiving our K-1 visa. And you sign it and you date it. That's pretty much, you do one, she does one. Put this into your packet. Okay. Alrighty. Letters from a letter of aliens. And then, okay, the alien certifying intent to marry the sponsor. So that's her letter and her letter and my letter. Uh, if you've ever been convicted, this is for the sponsor, which is for the guy. Uh, if you've ever been um, convicted of any crime, they don't care how big or how small. Um, convic convic conviction records of the sponsor. Now, I had a couple uh, run-ins with some motor vehicles um, stuff and some impaired driving Shh. when I was younger. But they don't care how old it is. So this is... Um, the supplement, part nine, part three, question B, they ask you in there, and then if you do answer yes to that question, then you want, they'll want you to make a separate page. And this had the, the dates and what I was charged with, and then this is my releases from the, from the police department, saying that I um, satisfied whatever the verdicts were held down. So I did my probation and all stuff, and I was released from that, so I'm free and clear of whatever that is. And proof, proof of having met in the last two years. We got 
stacks of this stuff. We got pictures, we got fairy receipts. You don't have to send your chats in. Matter of fact, they ask you not to do in the initial. Um, so like six photos of you guys together, especially if you're with your family or photos in front of like uh, landmarks in the Philippines so they know you're actually in the Philippines together. So something famous in the Philippines. And I think we, that's what we did. I think we sent them six photos and maybe a couple pages of like uh, fairy and receipts and my copy of plane tickets and stuff like that. Don't overwhelm them, but give them some proof because you're going to need some more down the road. All right, documents are exact photocopies. I understand I may need to submit original documents to the immigration counselor's office at a later time. We never had to. Now, I'm just checking right now on the website to see if I missed anything. Copy birth certificate issued by a civil register. Okay, copy of her naturalized citizen certificate. All right. That's evidence of a U.S. citizenship. Evidence that you are financed or you is legally terminated previous marriage. So you didn't have to send in your CNMR. This is all about me this yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, later they're going to ask for uh, more stuff on her. But so far this is mostly about about the the male or the petitioner. Even though the questions are mostly about you. If you change your legal name, they want proof of that. Okay, so that's it. That's it. You just you get this packet together with your cover list. So I'm going to go over it one more time just to, be, just to, to wrap everything up. Your payment of $535. Your 13-page filled out completely, signed and dated I-129F application. Uh, your divorce decree... If you've ever been divorced, make sure you have proof of that. Um, uh, the page explaining how you guys met. Uh, color passport photo of me. A color passport photo of this lovely creature. Uh, don't send a picture of Ina in, though. Just send a picture of your fiancé. <laughs> Sponsors proof of citizenship, which is your birth certificate and your passport co copies. A uh, letter of intent to marry from her and from me, uh, my, in my case, the conviction records, and proof we have met in the last couple of years at your copy of your photos. There's one other thing that Rapid Visa asked me to send in. They didn't ask me. It doesn't mention this on the government page, but they said proof that you were not, you didn't meet through a marriage broker. So we met on the, uh, Asian dating. Yes. Are you just reading the, the screen? Make sure we don't miss anything. Mm -hmm. um, and Rapid Visa asked me to send them an email. Uh, they wanted to get a letter from Rapid Visa saying that they're not marriage brokers. They never responded to my email, so all I did was I looked into their terms of agreements on the on, the, on their website. It was like seven or eight pages. I just printed it all off. Somewhere in there it says that they're not marriage brokers. I remember reading that. I sent that along with it. So <clears throat> wherever you met, if you used a dating site, I would copy the or print out the terms of agreements. And so hopefully it'll, it'll mention that they're not a marriage broker. Just to be safe, send that along with you. Now, just to wrap this up, we're almost done. I was hoping this wouldn't be too long. After about, you send this in and every, everything's done correctly. In about 30 days, you'll get... One of these. Now, I don't want to show you too close because there's information on here. This is your I-797C Notice of Action. And basically all of this letter says, and it's exciting to get this letter. I was quite excited. It just says that they've accepted uh, your packet and they're starting to work on it. It's in the file. And then you'll get what's called a receipt number. And it'll be like a WAC and a bunch of numbers. You can use that number to track things later on. So do not lose this. Okay? Then you think, all right, they're doing it. And now you might as well just sit and wait and wait. Don't even think about it because it took us five months after we received this letter. Then until we got the official I-797 NOA, which is the Notice of Action. And this says right here that we've been approved. And now we can go on to part two. But right now we're going to wrap up part one. So that's it, right? And we'll, just, and we'll do the CFO class, the 
um, DS-160, there's the C, uh, Luke's medical exam, and then the interview. There's still more to come, but this is stage one of your visa. You've, congratulations, you've made it this far. So, like, share, comment. If you uh, haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you have subscribed, hit the bell down below, and that'll tell you when we have a new video up. Uh, of course, if you'd like to throw a few pesos to help out the channel grow, there's a link to the Patreon below. And... What do you got to say? You know you haven't said a word. <laughs> I'm listening to you. Because she's tired. We did this two or three times already and it didn't go well. So yeah. this one's going well. So what do, what do you want to tell the nice people? Oh, thank you for watching as always, guys. We love you. Thank you and stay classy. I can hear you. Stay classy.